Hello my lovely ladies, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hi, my name is Lexi Danielle. I am the CEO and founder of Christian Girl Next Door Ministries where I help you lovely ladies to define and beautify your walk with Christ through online resources and outreach programs. I wanted to chit chat and sit down with you guys and talk about my current obsessions, my must-haves. They're my go-to, what I grab, what I like. Grab some coffee, grab some tea, grab your beverage of choice, and let's sit down and catch up. Oh, take me on this journey home, I don't wanna wait no more. First, we're gonna start off with clothing because I don't have too many things, but I'll insert a picture here of my robe. My robe has been such a game changer it just makes me feel so much more sophisticated and if I want to put on a robe, I just- I feel like to wear my robe, I have to have a matching set to go to sleep in. I usually put on my robe before I go to bed, if I want to walk around after I get out the shower with some comfy PJs or if I'm not ready to get dressed for the day, hop on the robe. It's cute. I'm living my best life. I just love it. It makes me feel pretty. It makes me feel sophisticated and I love it especially with the matching set PJ. So my next current obsession is having some ribbon in your hair. That has been a go-to of mine. And I feel like I kind of go through phases with ribbon. It's just been a nice way to make my hair. Since uh, lately I've been wearing it in a bun, I've been wearing my hair natural. So just something to jazz up the look a little bit to give it that razzle dazzle. It adds that razzle dazzle to your outfit to make it, you know, feel a little bit more feminine, you know, since I do have a sleek back bun, sometimes I want it to be girly, but you know, this gives you chic. I want feminine. I want feminine, and this is giving chic. So to give it femin femininely chic, we add the ribbon. So moving on to makeup, which I don't have any makeup, but I've been obsessed with fake eyelashes. Okay. Hear me out. When girls say they take off their eyelashes and they feel like when they get mole rat, I feel that. Lashes that I'm wearing, I'm not gonna get too close because I didn't do such a good job putting them on today. I am using the Kiss True Volume Plump. They're the dreamy. Yeah, love them. I love the volume and I never understood girls that got their eyelashes done. Like I didn't understand, but there's something about, you know, even if you're doing a bare face day, no makeup, but your hair is a, in a sleek bun or whatever, no makeup, just have like some good moisturizer, a little bit of lip gloss, your eyelashes. You can't tell me nothing. So Moving on to Bibles. My Bible routine, my devotional time. I got a new Bible. This is for school. So I am using the Holy Bible and it is ESV translation. It's crossways, but it's a journaling Bible. Okay, first of all, look how stinking cute. We love it. I love the fact that, granted, I do use this for school, right? So I carry it with me and I just love that it's small and we do take notes. If my professor mentions something about a scripture, I like to jot it down on the sides right over here. So that's why I got a journaling Bible. It's not necessarily because I want to journal and like draw little things. No, it's for me to like write notes next to the scripture. So we just highlighted the scripture and then I put one, two, and it just says general revelation and all people reject God. So that's just something that... I jotted down in my notes, but I'm obsessed. I love the fact that it's small because again, I do carry it. Love the roses, super feminine, super girly. And then game changer when it comes to taking notes in my Bible. Like I love it. Okay, so the next thing that I want to talk about is prayer journaling. So I'm, I'm a big advocate for being in your prayer closet, jotting down um, your prayers. And putting them on a sticky note. I've done that. I've been doing that for the longest time. But I was in like a prayer slump. Where I just didn't want to write stuff. Each individual prayer. Or so often so many prayers on a sticky note. Like I just couldn't bother myself to do all that. I have actually started prayer journaling. And this is my prayer journal. You know strangely. I don't necessarily put people's names down in like list order. But I write it like if I'm writing a letter. And that has been such a game changer. That's just an example. 
of what it looks like i'm writing it in like a letter form it's just me talking to god thanking him still this phrase repentant like that that whole thing but i just literally am writing him a letter and as i'm like jotting stuff down i'm speaking it out loud in my prayer closet such a game changer in my prayer life right now sometimes we just have to change up what we're doing and this has definitely been such a big blessing prayer letters is i write it down tell god surrender it i want to start like prayer journaling i do have a prayer journal prompt the link will be in the description check it out it's free i want you lovely ladies to blossom in your prayer life okay moving on to books you guys know i'm an avid reader right now in my goodreads i have read five books and my goal is to read 33 books with that being said my current book that i'm reading and i've had this book for over two years and i just recently picked it up because god was tugging my heart to pick it up and it is called Jesus Revolution. This book is actually being adapted into a film. So I'm super excited to watch it. It comes out in February. So in like a couple of days. I'm not exactly sure what day in February. But so far I'm obsessed. It talks about how 70s are known for hippies, right? A lot of... This is the biggest revival in the United States. So many hippies people came to jesus this movement is what birthed contemporary christian music who would have thought i was like that's insane like this book has so many good little nuggets and just history and knowledge and background to so many things um i'm still within like the first two chapters but i'm obsessed do i need to tell you again i'm obsessed it's totally recommend i'm okay i'm literally counting down to watch the movie i think that's gonna be our me and kyle's valentine's day date is to go check out the movie in theaters and i'm so excited so. moving on to uh, let's see i have been obsessed with the abide podcast it tells bible stories as you sleep and it just helps you relax because for a while i was having such a hard time falling asleep or going back to sleep even after i prayed even after i spent time with the lord like i just couldn't find my spot so scriptures i'm falling asleep there's nothing like falling asleep to the word of god all right my lovely ladies so we are at the end of the video i hope you lovely ladies enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button down below don't forget to join our patreon we will be launching our first podcast episode next week don't miss out sign up i'll see you lovely ladies next time bye